So I'm going to start it. Good. Okay, so we're breaking down hydrogen peroxide with an enzyme. Okay, we're going to speed up this process using an enzyme called catalase. The equipment you're going to need, a pair of gloves, hydrogen peroxide, 10 milliliter measured cylinder, test tube rack that will hold boiling tubes. They are thicker than test tubes. A borer. I'll explain how to use this borer in a minute. Spot in tile, a potato, a blunt knife, blunt knife, and a ruler. So this is your practical. Okay. What you're going to do? You need two identical in size bores of potato. So how do you do that? Simple. Stop it. What you do? You get this end, which is not connected to the wood. And you're going to place this through the potato in one smooth action. Do not do that because this will go straight through into your hand. Mm -hmm. So what is the easiest thing to do is if you put that onto either the table or the spot into the uh, tile, push down gently and you'll see the cork board has gone straight through. What you need to do then is with this end, what do you think? You do. Yeah, you push out the potato. So, you see what's happening? Oh, I won't. Oh, that's cool. So, there's one length of potato. Okay. Next, we need another length. So, again, bore this onto the spot and tile, straight through the potato, and then. The dangerous part is if you push it and your hands on the potato, you're going to stab yourself in the hand. I don't want that to happen. So you've got your, your cork borer, you place in your wood, and you push it. If you push it too hard, it might just destroy the potato. So just gently push it, smooth action, and there you go. There's your second borer. Once you've used your potato, place it back, someone else can use it. Right. Although these are similar lengths, they are not identical. So to start off with, what we're going to do is just chop them, the edges off. You're going to put those in the bin and chop the other edges off, like so. And put those in the bin. Then you need to make a note of your potato size. It's not necessary to all have the same potato size, but you need to make a note of it. So, using my ruler, I'm going to use the milliliter, uh, millimeters, a bit more accurate. So, I'm going to measure this, and they are both at 55 milliliters long. Millimeters, <laughs> millimeters, that's me. So these are both 55 meters long. Okay, one of them, stays whole. Okay. The other one, you need to chop up into very small, very small uh, circles. So all you do, just like you chop an onion in the house, and I want you to think about while you're doing this, so you be careful with your fingers, but remember the knife is blunt. What are you actually doing to the potato? Size wise, I know it's been chopping up, but the size wise. Okay, this is your potato done. You need to measure out 10 milliliters of hydrogen peroxide and pour it into two boiling tubes. I've got mine ready. You're going to place your chopped potato first into one. So there's one. Okay, you're gonna leave it. What is happening now? It's rising, bubbling, it's disintegrating, frothing, dissolving, solving. Okay, what can you see happening? Steaming up. What can you see on top of this water? It's bubbles. <coughs> bubbles. It's a lather, isn't it? There's a lather. Can you see that? With the there's a lava. Okay, and it's still growing. Look at that, guys. Can you see the white? 
once that's reached this top, again, in millimeters, you're gonna measure from the top of the liquid to the top of the bubbles. At present, that is 10 millimeters high. So when it grows to its largest point, you make a note of it. By all means, get a piece of paper, 10 millimeters. That is for the chopped potato. You're gonna do exactly the same for the non-chopped potato. I'm not, going to sh I'm not going to show you what happens. This is your practical, so I want you to do it. Okay? So that's it, basically, guys. Remember, you are using chemicals, so you do need to put your goggles on. It is still growing in size, the bubbles. So wait until it's at this very top, and then take a measurement. So you need two measurements. One for chopped potatoes, one for non-chopped potato. I will put a table on the board for us all to make a rough note of. Okay? Is that clear? And does everybody understand everything you need to do? Yes. yes. You will be working in pairs. You can work in pairs by all means today. And you're going to have about 20 minutes maximum to get everything out and put everything back away. <laughs>